Hi everybody. I wanted to show you what I was doing to uh, interface my um, uh, Node MCU ESP8622 uh, to the uh, HX711 uh, load cell driver. Uh, here what we've done is we've assigned um, D0 and D1 to be the, um, uh, the serial uh, uh, um, clock and uh, the data. The orange wire, as you can see, goes in for the data. The white wire goes in for the serial clock. And uh, the D0 and D1 uh, lines are being um, defined uh, in, the, uh, in the sketch. Uh, what we do in here is we wire this up to a, a standard load cell. And what I have next to the load cell is a 50 gram weight. Uh, what we've got over here is a, um, a printout of the, um, of the weight as a function of time. It hasn't properly teared, so it looks like it's off by a, a fraction of a gram. What I'll do here is I'll, um, I'll just hold the weight uh, in my hand, uh, thusly, and then uh, that's a 50 gram weight, and we can see what's registering on the scale over here, and it's about, uh, well, it seems to be a little variance there, uh, but it's about 50 grams thereabouts. And so um, that's the scale. Uh, to look at the sketch, uh, you can see it over in here. Uh, all I did was um, I uh, assigned uh, D out to be uh, D0 and clock to be D1, and then I hooked up the uh, voltage 5 volts and, uh, and ground as normal. Uh, then set up the scale and um, set up my units, and then printed the results. And that's it. That's how you do a scale on the ESP8622. Hope you like my little video. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.